dragons are really amazing creatures. Within the seven distinct classes, you can find every size, type, and breed of dragon. The Night Fury species is a part of the Strike class dragons and features Hiccup's pal Toothless. Night Furies are 26 feet long with a wingspan of 45 feet, weighing 1,776 pounds or the equivalent of 14 sheep. It's capable of dive bombing tactics and flying faster than the speed of sound. It fires powerful explosive charges, which makes this species extremely dangerous. Although once you gain its trust, a Night Fury is much more a giant winged pussycat than the stuff of nightmares. The mischievous monstrous nightmare is one of the dragons of the Stoker class. Its sweeping wingspan reaches 68 feet with a length of 61 feet. They ordinarily weigh 5,000 pounds or 40 sheep. Their fire consists of a kerosene gel, which can be used as a fuel. With a bad temper and short on patience, Snotloud's dragon Hookfang would rather ignite first and think second, just like his rider. If cornered, the monstrous nightmare will coat itself with fire from nose to tail. One of the smallest known dragons, the Terrible Terror, is part of the Stoker class. Their six foot wingspan and six foot length make them tiny in the dragon world. Weighing just 20 pounds, they weigh less than a sheep's leg does. They pack a surprisingly large flame from such a little body if you upset them. These dragons feed in Roman packs, not unlike pigeons. When the Terrible Terrors gather in large groups, they often break into song. These chirps, squawks, and croaks have kept many a Viking awake throughout the night and into the morning. Hobblegrunts are the most recent addition to the Stoker class. The average wingspan is 63 feet, and they regularly are 55 feet in length. Hobblegrunts normally weigh 4,500 pounds or 36 sheep. It's believed that the fin on their heads can sense subtle shifts in temperature, barometric pressure, and the emotional states of nearby dragons or humans, making them one of the most sensitive dragons. Hobblegrunts are considered lucky dragons, and that they can predict certain things, both good and bad, a split second before they actually happen, and their skin changes color depending on their mood. The Deadly Natter is part of the Tracker class. They have a wingspan of 42 feet and are 30 feet in length on average. Natters weigh approximately 2,600 pounds or 21 sheep. They breathe a magnesium type of fire. Deadly Natters, such as Astrid's beloved Stormfly, can suddenly raise hundreds of sharp spines that stud their hides and tails and fling them with incredible accuracy. Deadly Natters have a remarkable sense of smell, and the full range of this ability has yet to be explored, but they have been known to sniff out a Berserker spy from 100 feet away. Rumblehorns, like Stoic's faithful Skull Crusher, are the Bloodhound of Dragons and are part of the Tracker class. Rumblehorns have an average length of 11 feet and a wingspan of 30 feet. They normally weigh 1,100 pounds or 9 sheep. Rumblehorns shoot long-range fire missiles which explode on impact. They can find anything on scent from miles away, even with just a weak scent from a helmet. The Rumblehorn can also use its rhino-like head as a battering ram in battle. The owl-like Stormcutter of the Sharp class of dragons has a wingspan of 48 feet measured on the diagonal. It weighs 2,500 pounds or 20 sheep. They fire a sustained and blazing hot ring of fire. Stormcutters are well known for their second set of hidden wings, 
giving them excellent skill and control in the skies. Stormcutters are proud and confident dragons, as in the case of Valka's friend, Cloudjumper. Part of the shark class of dragons, we discovered the scuttle claws in their infant stage. As babies, their wingspans are 20 feet and they weigh 600 pounds or five sheep. At this age, they, they do not respond to the Alpha's control. Scuttleclaws are a rambunctious and hyperactive dragon, which is why they are so darn difficult to control in flight, but they are still very cute. The quiet calmness of the Timberjack makes these sharp class dragons very sensitive. They have a large wingspan, 90 feet, and weigh 900 pounds or seven sheep. Unlike most dragons, they create a few drops of oil-based fire, which is used to burn the kindling wood it has chopped and collected. Timberjack wings are razor sharp and used to cut through dense forest. Their large wings give them the ability to fold around weary riders, creating a makeshift tent. The rain cutter species is part of the sharp class dragons. The average rain cutter usually has a length of 50 feet with a 60 foot wingspan and weighs 2,100 pounds or 17 sheep. Their long necks give them the ability to bend their heads down and scoop up mounds of damp earth, which are filled with the wriggling worms and grubs. These dragons do most of their hunting and foraging during stormy weather and rather enjoy it. Rain cutters share a distaste for the sun and warm weather since those signal that feeding time is over. The two-headed hideous Zippleback is part of the mystery class of dragons. Their wings reach 38 feet long, and Zippelbacks on average are 66 feet in length. Equivalent to 48 sheep, the Zippleback weighs 6,000 pounds. Its two heads give it a deadly weapon that's unique from any other dragon species. The head on the right side breathes a green flammable gas, while the left head uses an electrical spark in its mouth to ignite the gas, creating deadly explosions. Arf and Belch, much like Roughnut and Toughnut, don't always agree. In battle, Zipplebacks have the secret power to bite their own tails and set themselves on fire, taking the form of a flaming wheel that knocks down their opponents like ten pins. The Gronkle is the most typical boulder class dragon. My best friend Meatloaf has a short but beautiful wingspan of just 18 feet and a short stout body that's just about 14 feet in length. Gronkles are quite heavy for their form, weighing in at 5,700 pounds or the equivalent of 46 sheep. They shoot flaming chunks of molten lava at their enemies. Gronkle wings beat very quickly, allowing great aerial control and the ability to fly backwards, sideways, and hover in the same place for long periods of time. When Gronkles eat more than one rock at a time, they can spit out a brand new substance in lava form. A different but related breed to the Gronkle is the hot burple of the boulder class. Their 18 foot wingspan and 14 foot length are very similar to the Gronkle. They weigh in at 46 sheep or 5,700 pounds. They fire lava slugs out of molten minerals. While the Gronkle loves rocks, hot purples prefer iron ore, making Grump the perfect dragon to have on hand in Gobbler's blacksmith shop. Snafflefangs are the most active of all the boulder class dragons. Their wings stretch to 40 feet and they typically are 30 feet long. They weigh as much as 22 sheep, that's about 2,800 pounds. The brightness of their fire makes it perfect to light a darkened room. With their diamond sharp teeth, Snafflefangs love to gnaw on geodes in the same way a dog might chew on its favorite bone. 
When Snafflefang's keen teeth chew into geodes, they sometimes leave behind an interesting leftover. Shards of crystal. The stern and stubborn sea dragon, the Thunder Drum, is in the tidal class of dragons. On average, their wings stretch 48 feet long and they have a length of 68 feet. They weigh as much as seven sheep or 900 pounds. Instead of breathing fire, the Thunder Drum produces a strong jarring sound that can take out humans at close range. The Thunder Drum's large mouth allows it to literally scoop entire schools of fish right out of the water, like a pelican or a large whale. When not swelling up with air in order to yell, thunder drums can actually flatten their bodies by expelling all oxygen from their massive lungs so they can dive into water and swim. The majestic Bewilderbeast is part of the nautical tidal class. A class 10 leviathan, they have a 150 foot wingspan and weigh nine tons, a colossal 150 sheep, it stands 150 feet tall, and unlike other dragons' fire breathing ability, Bewilderbeast breathe ice blasts, which can freeze on impact and can also be used to create shelters for their dragons. A natural born alpha, they have the unseen ability to communicate with dragons and force their will upon them. The Sea Shocker is the deep sea swimmer of the title class of dragons. They have a wingspan of 50 feet and a length of 52 feet. Sea Shockers weigh 2,200 pounds or 18 sheep. With powerful blades on their back, they can cut through the icy surfaces of an ocean with ease. The Sea Shocker is capable of emitting underwater sonar and these dragons travel in schools or pods similar to fish and dolphins. 